All right, guys, what's going on? Charlie here. So I'm finding the story of NYSC and Dark Pools not having anything to do with each other uh, more and more hard to believe. Real quick, I'm going to run you through this. So as we all know, we had a filing come out that in essence explained to us that the NYSC had implemented these third-party data feeds and systems back in March. And then last week, the SEC said, hold on a minute. We're going to look a little bit closer into this and see what's going on. And then they suspended these services. And then directly after that, the NYSC put another filing effective immediately out to have them continued through May 24th. Now, obviously, the NYSC seems to need these services because otherwise they wouldn't be so desperate as to file over and over again trying to keep them. And where the connection lies is if you look at the third-party data systems in the filing. We got NYSC... Chicago, NYSC, and then as far as the third-party data systems, we have MIAX Emerald, MIAX Pearl, uh, Morgan Stanley, TD Ameritrade. Now, I wanted to pay attention solely to the data feeds because, as we know, dark pools operate using data feeds. So that means we're going to look at the MIAX Pearl Equities, ICE Data, um, and then MIAX Emerald. So when you go and you look up their connectivity settings, and even in the NYSC, first let's look at this article by Wall Street speed war. Um, in essence, it says that Chicago, New York, um, the industry term, they're using fiber optics that are unlit or unused, such as dark fibers, which gives a latency advantage. And we all know that in the stock market, latency advantage is the thing that everyone is after. That way they can be the first in line. Now, also, back in 2015, there was a investigation conducted um, against the National Stock Exchange of India, and the investigation concluded that they were indeed using dark fibers to transmit data but back and forth um, in, in an effort to cut latency from other members and manipulate the market. I'll link all this stuff below. And then finally, on the NYSE's own website, in their direct specifications manual, you can see right here that they have a dark reserve order that is able to be implemented so that's a lot of stuff going on to just wave your hand and dismiss this from being connected so we have a investigation that was conducted that already has proven dark fibers were used for manipulation this is a little diagram of uh, what was done PJ towers and NSE building were in theoretically able to bypass security by using the dark fiber cables and there's definitely possibility for manipulation for this to occur using these because it's already happened before. So I'm not sure why everyone's trying to wave this off and I may have my uh, my idea of everyone wrong. I think it's just a few people who are dismissing this and those people obviously refuse to even look at this article or look into the situation whatsoever. So while it's easy to say that dark pools have nothing to do with the NYSC, why do we see third-party data feeds urgently trying to be reactivated on top of these third-party data feeds having dark fiber connectivity options because if you look at MIAX Pearl and MIAX Emerald in their own user manual dark fiber is a connectivity option same thing for Pearl dark fiber connectivity option so if you're telling me that all of this doesn't even need to be looked into, then there's something wrong. I think that there's something more here. And if anyone else knows what's going on here, please let me know. Um, and until this is proven wrong, I'm not going to consider this misinformation. I'm going to consider it an open discussion that we can all try and figure out if this is possibly connected in any way to dark pools and manipulation. And by the way, dark pools are not used to move price. They're used to suppress volume and mainly were purposed for institutional owners making big trades without affecting the price of the security. So I want to point that out. Um, just It's a, too much to not talk about, so just throwing that out there, guys. Hope you all have a good day, and I'll talk to you next time.